David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was gonna kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. Well, you still had the right idea to tell the principal that Jefferson acted shady around Kate Marsh. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it. But he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while well, you had each other. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. You both had a tough start. And I know it wasn't easy. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too. But you saw how that went. Chloe's tough. Just like you. I'm glad we have something in common. I'm glad I stood up for you. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but it's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. And I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So where is Chloe? David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. He can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you? Yes, I. I saw her. I. I saw a. Jefferson Killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was so close to finding out the truth? I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Max. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. Have that photo you took last night in the parking lot. Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. Just so hold on. striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, how I pay all those taxes? You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say... I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, it's coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry.
Somebody! Anybody! Help me! Hey! Anybody? That guy is trapped! I have to help everybody I can. You okay? Once I get the hell out of here. I've been hauling loads for way too long in this shithole town. You better go now. And I ain't never coming back here. You need a lift? No thanks. I have to find a friend. You go, girl. You go. Can I get out of here? Damn, okay. I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. He's dead. <laughs> Electrocuted. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Makes me if we can make it out of this, Chloe. More storms. Come on, you have to get out of here right now. I need to breathe. I need air. I can't die in this room. I can't. You should get out of here. The whole town is dying. Okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. to go there now.
situation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. A D6 tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay and surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast oh, system is now in effect. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Hello. So glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Clop. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Papadou hated him! Yeah. You saw... You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? He used some drug and... gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is... is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. Neither would Chloe. I knew Chloe and her were close. I was jealous, but uh, now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. I can't seem to escape the two whales. I hate to say I'm glad to see you. I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. 
Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa, is that all? I, I think that the storm started, everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse, the birds, the whales, everything. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Uh, what happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Dead. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reversed or, or altered time, maybe you caused a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I, I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe, and, and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and, and you've always treated me like a person. Not, not a beta nerd. I, I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason, and... I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Hey, be careful out there. I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm 
glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, be more connected to Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm... I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No. Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and... I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I, I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to end your life. I did. For you, I... I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... <sighs> I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us, and he can actually stop him. Right? Is that why you stuck up for him? Because you think he can help us, really? Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. 
We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive, oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked, it actually worked. You're with me again. It looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you remember, right? Well, we, we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Just stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on that. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe... I've got your back, Rex. Whoa! Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm when back in class. As he what the hell? Movies, these pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our I have sorrow. to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. In black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as torture. Right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense.
I don't care if this is a dream or a nightmare. I'm taking this picture. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. Yes. You will be posing. For me. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. This can't be real. I don't believe it. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me, or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone, and that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend.
This one is for Samuel. Yeah. <laughs> 